In today's video, I'm going to show you how to build a shortcut that gets the details of your images. This is important for some of the shortcuts that I will build later on in the series. If I open up the notes app, you can see that I've got one of my thumbnails here. And it has all this information about this particular image. Open up shortcuts, tap on the plus sign to create a new shortcut. The first thing you have to decide is how you want to provide the shortcut with input. I'm going to use the select photo action. Select photos allows you to select one or more photos. I'm going to work with one photo at a time. And I'm going to design this shortcut so that this version will work with photos and videos. Underneath this action, you can see next action suggestions. These three actions are something that Shortcut thinks we might want to do as the next action. And of course, because we're going to use the image that we select, we're going to set variable. This gives the photos a proper name. Tap done when you've named the variable. Notice that the variable turns blue. This means that it is named correctly. And for now, this note is going to contain only the selected photo. Swipe over in the select variable area and tap on my photo. Tap on done. The action that you want to use is get details of image. You're going to have to use one of these actions for each detail that you want to display. Tap on the action to select it. Tap where it says detail and begin getting the details. We'll start with album. In the from section, I'm going to place the variable my photo. Next, we'll get the width variable from my photo. In the next action suggestions, you can see get details of images. Since that's what we're doing for now, just tap here to add another action. Add one get details of images action for each detail that you want to display. Shortcuts run from top to bottom, so each detail will be retrieved in the order that you added it. I'm using dates exactly as they are. This is because the time is included. And I want to make sure that I'm working with the most current version of the image details, whether it's a video or a photo. I've sped this up so you don't have to watch this whole process because it does take some time depending on how many details you add. I'll leave a link in the description of this video to this shortcut when it's completed. I'm going to speed this up and then we'll continue. You may have noticed that I did not choose every detail available. This is for two reasons. One, because not every detail is going to be available for every image or video. And two, because there are only certain variables that I need. You can format text using a text box. In the box, you want to type the name of each detail. I always add a date variable. Hit return a couple of times and enter in the detail names here. The names on the left shown in white text and the values on the right shown in blue text. Tap on select variable and then swipe up or down to select the variable that you need. Be sure to put spaces in between the detail name and the variable name so that the values are displayed properly when the shortcut runs. You can place the details in any order you like within this text box. They don't have to be placed in a specific order. You'll also notice that I leave dates as they are so that I can be sure once again that I'm working with the most current version of the image details. Once I finish entering the details, I'm going to use the show results action to take a look at how the information is displayed. Specifically, I want to make sure that it's formatted properly when the shortcut runs. 
decided to use the Notes app so that I can combine the text and images properly. When the shortcut is finished, you'll be able to look at the image or video and the details displayed underneath. To find the show results action, put your cursor in the search field and begin typing show results. When you see show results, tap on it. To run the shortcut and see how the details look, tap the play icon in the lower right hand corner. First, you're prompted to select an image. Tap on any image or video to select it. Once you do, the selection window disappears. Tap on Always Allow for any and all of these privacy warnings. If there's a problem, tap on OK and make sure that all of your image detail actions are properly formatted. I forgot to add the variable my photo here. Tap where it says from and add your variable. Take a minute to review all of your image detail actions because as you can see I missed another one here. So repeat that process again. Sometimes when you do the same action over and over you may forget to do all of the steps for each action. Scroll down to the bottom and review the rest of the shortcut. Now tap the play icon one more time and select your image. This is how the image details are going to look inside the notes. Tap on done to dismiss the show results action. So far the shortcut is working properly. Scroll up and remove the show result action by tapping on the X. I'm going to replace it with the append to note action. This will add the image details to the note that I created underneath the image. Search for and select the action called append to note. Tap on it when you see it in the list. This will add it to the shortcut as the last action. You want to append the text box labeled text in the variable selection area and make sure that you add the note variable from the top of the shortcut. Swipe up to select the note variable. But you want to make sure that you are in the right field. Clear the variable out of the first field, tap in the second field after the word to, then reselect the note variable. When you are in select variable mode, the variables will appear between the shortcut actions. Once you've selected the note variable, swipe down and tap on done. Run the shortcut one more time by tapping on the play icon in the bottom right hand corner. Before I do that though, I'm going to add the open note action to open the note once the image details have been appended or added to it. Type open note in the search field and select it. When you select it and add it to the shortcut, the shortcut will say open appended note. Run the shortcut one more time by tapping on the play icon. Once you do, you'll see an image selection window or a select photos window appear. Tap an image to select it Once you do that, the photo selection window will disappear. This time I'm going to select a photo instead of a screenshot. Swipe down and choose the photo you want to look at the images for, and then always allow all the privacy warnings, and there's your note with your image. Watch this video recommended by YouTube. This playlist contains more tutorials just like this one. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're notified when I upload a new video. Join me next time.